We often see our lives as beginning with birth and ending with death, as if these two events are bookends for our lives. But in the larger scheme of things, at a soul level, this is not necessarily so. Our soul is on an immortal journey, and life has no beginning and no end. You and I are always connected to life, and we're always connected to one another. We may say a person has died, but they remain alive inside of us, in our hearts, and in the immortal journey of their soul's life. A loving couple named Sadie and John showed me this beautiful thread of life and connectedness with one another. After 40 years of marriage and being together, working side by side, John had a massive stroke. David and I went to the hospital to see John, and there was his beautiful Sadie standing by his side, holding his hand and stroking his brow. He lay motionless in a deep coma. We all joined hands and held John's hand and prayed together. And as we prayed, a vivid image came into my mind of John standing in the middle of a tunnel. And I could see the look of concern on his face as he seemed to telepathically communicate with me that he could not come out of the tunnel, nor could he go through the tunnel. I didn't say anything to Sadie, but I felt like I needed to tell David that I had seen this and I was concerned. I was concerned that John was unable to return and he was also unable to move on. And I wondered if I should say anything to Sadie well, we decided to wait and see what happened over the next few days. We spoke daily to Sadie, and about a week later, she called to tell us that John had died. And she said, right before the hospital called, I was, I was at home and I was doing some laundry, and I felt John's presence close by me. And I imagined that my wonderful husband, John, was standing right in front of me. And I put my hands on his shoulders, and I said, it's okay if you need to go, John. I'll be all right. And Sadie wept softly. And I, as I listened to Sadie, I too was filled with emotions as I remembered the tunnel. I could almost see John walking through it, saying goodbye. Sadie said it wasn't more than an hour that the hospital called and said that I should come. Well, I knew right away that John had died beyond coma and unconsciousness, even beyond that passage that we call death. Our lives and the power of life helps us eternally stay connected. There's a beautiful poem by James Dillett Freeman called The Traveler that speaks of this part of our journey. He puts on invisibility, dear Lord, I cannot see, but this I know, Although the road ascends and passes from my sight, that there will be no night, that you will take him gently by the hand and lead him on along the road of life that never ends. And he will find it is not death, but dawn. I do not doubt that you are there as here, and you will hold him dear our life did not begin with birth, it is not of the earth. And this that we call death, it is no more than the opening and closing of a door. And in your house, how many rooms must be beyond this one where we rest momently? Dear Lord, I thank you for the faith that frees, the love that knows it cannot lose its own. The love that looking through the shadow sees that you and he and we are ever one.